Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are on this beautiful planet called Earth. Today, um, I didn't send you a video over the weekend in America. It was July 4th, our, Ind our Independence Day. And of course, this year, it had such a different meaning uh, for me and I'm sure for many, many others. Um, how do we truly be independent and what does freedom mean? Uh, but today, I'm looking at freedom from the point of view of our inner freedom, because it's a place where we can all find freedom. When we hear stories of prisoners um, that find meditation, they are free. We look at Nelson Mandela and we see his profound um, shift of uh, finding not only inner freedom, but inner forgiveness of everyone who took away his freedom and also of himself for not finding his own freedom and for all the injustices uh, that we all have in small ways and some in the biggest ways you could ever, ever imagine. So how to be in this world and in a way not of it. So there's a, I began my idea of uh, meditation in, I guess I was 21 and following Hindu texts and yoga, teaching myself how to be quiet and how to uh, pray in a particular kind of way. Um, and I was, I was very inconsistent, but I felt like it was, I was really meditating. And uh, over the years, um, many years now, many years later, uh, from Hinduism to uh, my roots for Christianity, I uh, went to Hebrew school for a year with friends. I went to catechism class for a year with a Catholic friend. Um, and I went to Russian Orthodox to understand the mysteries, all my life seeking the mysteries and uh, what, what was all this unknown, this transcendence, this what was beyond what I could see. And so I really had a education, self-taught education in comparative religion. And then uh, later in meditation. And so uh, from Hinduism, I pretty much went straight to uh, Zen, to the Japanese form of meditation. But it was actually the Western Japanese form of meditation. And uh, I've been on and off with that most of my life. And today, these last five years or so, the most consistent with my practice. Um, and so I know a lot about inconsistency and consistency, discipline, perseverance, and building the muscle of presence in my own unique way. And also the uh, building the muscle of the will. And so one, we could say, has will forces um, at different places in their lives. Some have the, the will to go to work every day or to have a long, steadfast marriage or to have a meditation practice 
or even just uh, having lucid dreaming. I have a friend who's that has been one of the goals in his life. Uh, another might be an artist or a poet who uh, gets up every morning and no matter what, writes something to see what will come. And so today in our work, we'll look, work at this, we'll look at how do we come to strengthen our will so that we can have a form of meditation that sets us free. So within each human being, I believe, there is a higher self that overcomes our thinking, our feeling, and our willing, actually, that takes a bird's eye view of the Linda, maybe for many, many lives, I, I don't know. But I know that to find that inner freedom, to use your will to sit and allow something new to arrive, can awaken that inner being. It is a worthy cause because that inner being, the I, the true self, the vastness, the silence, the emptiness, allows us to be free from all the thoughts we've had in the past, all the feelings that we care about, and all the things of doing. This is the place we can build a new home of freedom. And it's through meditation, your, your, own, your own form. I work with uh, the Zen Mudra, and I think we've worked with this before. The thumbs, they're so light as if there's a piece of uh, paper between them. And maybe I'll stand for this. Um, the right hand is under the left. And you see it's not this. It's, it's not this. <laughs> it's a, kind of an oval that goes, oh, I see, right, right above the pubic bone and below the belly button in front of what we would call the golden ball. I think you'll find a video on the golden ball. Linda Delman, YouTube, just look up that. But, so... We come to the sitting, and there's also a YouTube on helping you find your true seat, and breathing, and we sit, and we expand, we go inside, and we know our ground and our length, and then we come and we expand at the same time. And we sit. And we build this muscle that grows more and more often and for longer and longer periods. You can just be sitting. Quieting backgrounding, another level, they're still there, we're not getting rid of thoughts, but all these levels go back and back and back, or down, down, down. They're around, but we don't really care about them because we are the sun. We are the life energy and the form and the formless, and we hold all of that with such care. Breathing. 
resting, resting and opening to the great around. And there we are free. No matter what conditions we're living under, no matter the color of our skin or our religion, whether we're single or married or coupled, whether we're female or male, we are. I am. It thinks. I really invite you to find the place of freedom. There's nothing sweeter. And it builds devotion and reverence to all that holds us. We are all connected in this place. We are all a part of the great ocean of love the great ocean of silence. It's yours to behold. So I invite you, if you haven't developed a meditation practice or a prayer practice or something that brings you to this development of your will the strength to come back, to always return, to recollect. This is the road to freedom. Many blessings on your journey.